Welcome back to YouTube viewers. Today, I have a video. It is some breaking NBA news. Carmelo Anthony was traded to the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now, it's going to be an amazing trade for the Thunder. Although, I'm not sure what position they're going to move Paul George or Melo to. I mean, really, really 2K. How did I know? Every time I make a video like this, someone gets hurt. Um, so, they are doing pretty crappy. Because Melo got hurt. So, that's not very good. That's a really bad trade. But you probably make one. This team isn't the best. Now, if you haven't noticed yet, this is a cut com or a post com or whatever like they call it. Because... I have no mic as of right now. I have to use my phone. And my phone doesn't work with the Xbox. So I have to post comment every video now. Anyway, so... I, Patrick Patterson, he should have some trade value. Like I'm, I should be able to get somebody. Bobby Portis isn't bad. Bobby Portis would actually be pretty good. He's young and he's good. But let's see if there's anyone else. Dwayne Dedman. Dwayne Dedman would be great. Is there anything else? Anything higher than 77? Mm, I don't want to spend too much money. This is only going to be one year, but I still like to have more money, so that way, you know, it's easier for me to get trades. But I'm going to go with Dwayne Denman, I think. Mm, no, nah, I'm just going to go with Dwayne. Dwayne's better. All right. Now, I got rid of a power forward, so let's see if I can get another power forward back. Um, let's go with this guy. Yeah, that's how you know it's a cut com or post com. <laughs> so, no, I want to get someone like higher than 70. And that doesn't seem possible right now. Yeah, so I'm not going to be able to trade him, but maybe I'll be able to get someone for, um, that guy you don't know how to say his name bobby portis that's perfect bobby portis i'm taking it yes all right there we go um just simulate to the end of the season i guess now i am going to be talking about like over some footage because i would like to talk about how i think the trade went you know the winner and the loser and honestly i think that the knicks I think it was a good trade. Okay, I'm just going to say that. I don't think it was a bad trade for either side. Because to say it was a bad trade is actually pretty difficult. Because it wasn't. It was pretty down the middle. Like, Melo was good. But Ennis Cantor, whoever the heck, Doug McDermott, and a first-round pick kind of balances that out. But the thing is, now the Thunder are in win-now mode. I'm not too sure if they can actually win. But... That would give them the ability to keep Paul George. Because Paul George, he's like, I'm not only going to the Lakers. If I'm doing something good here and we make it to like the conference finals, then I'm going to stay. So they might be able to stay. They might be able to keep him. <laughs> they might be able to keep him. If they could keep him, that would be amazing. Because then they don't need much more help. They can literally just, you know... Westbrook and Paul George, they'll definitely be able to pick up free agents. Melo might come back. They're doing good. All they need is a big man. They have Steven Adams. So really all they need is a power forward. So they're actually pretty decent now. Westbrook, he's not going to be the MVP again, though. That's going gonna, <laughs> gonna to be a while if he will ever be an MVP again. But the team's too good now. He might have been able to get another MVP with... What's his face? Paul George only, because Paul George, you could just pass to him, he'll shoot. But if Melo, if he wants to play the way Melo plays, then he's going to get a lot of iso ball opportunities, while um, Westbrook is also very ball dominant. So I'm not too sure how well that's going to work. But I feel like Melo, at this point in his career, just wants to get a ring. I feel like he would just be fine with being the open shooter, occasional ISO, and let Westbrook do all the work. So I feel like that would be a really, really good way to run this team. Just have Westbrook 
make plays for them. Just have Paul George and Melo taking some threes. Should be pretty good. And then, worst case, like, somebody gets hurt. Now they have three stars, so they don't really have to worry about it that much. And they may be able to run, like, small ball if... um, Honestly, I'm not too good with the Thunder roster. I'm going to imagine they have someone who might be able to join them. They just probably put Paul George at power forward. He's in this league. You can do that with everyone, honestly. Basically, everyone just bounces around all the positions. But, um, Dwayne Dedmon. Oh, yeah, you guys, I forgot about talking about the um, simulation. There's so many injuries. Why are there so many injuries whenever I make any simulation? I thought it would be better for 2K18. It's so much worse. Like, I can't do anything without injuries. I tried making the perfect team just for fun. It was like Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, LeBron James, Shaq, Akeem. I literally just went through, picked the best player by overall, and I couldn't go 82-0 because there was always an injury. The injury always somehow let like the Nets beat them. I was like, what? So search sim engine is still isn't even that great for it in 2K. But it's better than nothing. I gotta imagine if live had a sim engine, then I would be praising 2K right now, but it doesn't. And um I fast forwarded the well I didn't fast forward, I sped up the gameplay a little bit so if it's going by too fast i'll explain what just happened there i signed two free agents festus azili and i don't know some power forward who could shoot threes and they were both better than the ones i had as of right now and i think they would really make a great difference if the thunder actually would sign them because i mean festus azili would be a great backup center to Dwayne redmond you'd have like the best like and Steven Adams. You'd have, like, really good defenders at the center position, no matter what. Then, whoever the shooter is would be good to help stretch, stretch the floor. And how the heck does Paul George break his leg again? Like, what's wrong with this game? They, everyone except for Westbrook has been injured, like, a thousand times. Mm, that was so annoying. But, tell me down below in the comments, what do you think about this? Now, I'm trying to make a trade... Because we need more depth. Because everyone keeps getting hurt. So I figured if I got that young guy, the rookie from the Lakers, I might as well. Because we have, like, no depth. Although I didn't realize that I got so many centers till right now. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. Now, I apologize if you didn't want to see or hear me this whole time. I'm not trying to be like a lazy editor, but I want to talk about this trade. It was a great trade, super entertaining, and I can't wait for the season to start because first, Lonzo Ball has to get through Patrick Beverly. Should be crazy because everyone wants Lonzo dead. Patrick Beverly, everyone hates going against him. So Lonzo, he might have like the worst opening game ever. He might be like zero, zero, like zero point zero assists, like twelve turnovers, shooting zero percent from the field and three. Like that'll be insane. I just want to see Patrick Beverly just go all out to stop Lonzo, and then the whole Clippers team is gonna be trying to murder him. I hope he gets postered by like DeAndre or Blake. Do you imagine first game he gets his career ended? That'd be so. That'd be so perfect. And then, what other trades were there? There was, like, Kyrie. He's going to be playing the he's gonna be playing the Cavs first game. It's going to be so entertaining to watch. And so is Melo. He's going to be playing the Knicks in his first game. So, the opening day sounds amazing right now. But that's only if it goes different from the simulation. Because look at that. Come on. Everyone got hurt. But anyway, James Harden's the MVP, which seems like a default this season, this year. So is Lonzo being rookie. Like he would not, he would not have thirteen and ten for his rookie year with two steals and all that stuff. That's not realistic, two K. Anyway, um, 
see Giannis' stats. I was curious about Giannis' stats because he got a 92 overall this time. Oh my god, he's like, he looks like he's about to die. His stats got worse. What? How do you get worse but a higher overall? That's kind of weird. Well, anyway, we didn't make the playoffs, so let's just simulate. Dang, how the Spurs the eighth seed? Rockets are tearing it up. Warriors are second seed. Oh my god. Wait. Whoa, 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 wait. Alright, that was fast. Tell me if I'm wrong. Did they did the Sixers just come back from a 3-0 deficit? That would be crazy. Anyway, I don't know what happened to the Spurs. Like, come on. And the Sixers, look at those ratings. Everyone progressed a ton that year. That's that's the process. Anyway, I'm out, DTB viewers. Bye-bye.